your latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Kevin Holmes with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines for July 13th. One person dead following the shooting in Kansas City. This one happening near 8th and Prospect. No word on a suspect. This, by the way, the city's 101st homicide of the year. It's a number concerning the police department and city leaders who say we have to find ways to stop the violence. One person in the hospital after getting hit by a car. This happened at East 12th and Hardesty in Kansas City late Monday night. Police tell us the person who was hit is in critical condition. And with school just a month away, the Kansas City Metro seen some of its highest new cases of coronavirus since the pandemic began. The Metro reporting 531 new cases, the second highest report in a single day and the third day ever over 500 cases. There was also one new death bringing the total to 305 and health leaders say we are nowhere close to the end of this. The new cases, they have some worried about kids returning to the classroom. Monday, teachers protested in Lawrence ahead of their school board meeting, but one of the surveys they did last month, it shows 68% of parents are concerned or very concerned about having their kids returning to a classroom. The district, like so many others in the state, will adjust their plans to reflect what Governor Kelly announces on Wednesday. Jeff Penner with your forecast. Thanks, Kevin. Tomorrow, 95 degrees. Now, there's a slight chance of thunderstorms in the morning and then again in the evening. If we get a little bit more in the morning, it might be a couple of degrees cooler. 70 tomorrow night, 84 Wednesday. Our best chance of thunderstorms comes in right in here. And on the new data, we've increased the chance from 50 to 60%. So we'll see what happens there. And then Thursday, 87 degrees, a nice summer day, slightly less humid. And then Friday, 93, a slight chance of rain. We better get some rain because we are dry and Saturday, Sunday, Monday, our first heat wave of the summer is entirely possible. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. You can get your news and weather anytime on KSHP.com.